In today's Focus on Family, we are talking about the ecstasy of surrender. The 12 surprising ways letting go can actually empower your life. Dr. Judith Orloff is the author of the new book to help transform all of the negative in your life into something positive. Thank you so much for being here. I think when people think of this idea of surrender, it brings a little anxiety, not necessarily <laughs> ecstasy. But you're saying it really can bring a peace into your life. Oh, it absolutely can. I'm a psychiatrist. I've been in practice for 20 years, and this is one of the main things that I teach my patients on how to let go, how to stop pushing and forcing and making themselves miserable and having insomnia and worrying. How do you stop doing all that? You know, the art of learning how to let go at the proper moments will help you. Right, because this idea, I think people think of surrender. They think, okay, put my hands up. I'm right. giving up. <laughs> and it's not giving up. It's really empowering. Right, that's the old definition where people equate surrender with weakness or giving up but what I'm saying is that it's a sign of power it's a conscious choice of saying all right I know how to lead life I know when to control and to move forward and I know when to back off and stop pushing so I don't alienate people and when to just breathe we have a little quiz for our viewers at home just five questions you have 25 in the book but we put together five of those questions ask yourself these questions true or largely untrue I recognize I cannot control everything I'm comfortable with uncertainty. This is the one <laughs> I can't say true to that. I'm able to give and receive love. I feel successful apart from my job or net worth. And I don't compare myself to others. So if people are going through that list and many of those answers are false or largely untrue, I would say they need to kind of readjust, right? Oh, that's the point. I have this quiz at the beginning of the book just for people to take it and see where they're at very compassionately, non judgmentally. But basically, you know, as much as we might want to control everything, we must realize that we cannot. You know, not everything. Right. And the things we cannot control, we need to learn to flow with life and go with the grace of it. Instead of pushing so hard, we make ourselves miserable. So when people answer those questions, just see, am I uncomfortable with uncertainty? You know, do I realize I can't control everything? Uh, do I, can I stop comparing myself with people? Comparison is normal, but it can make you miserable if you're, let's say, going to a yoga class with the best of intentions and you're comparing yourself with the body of the perfect body of the 20 year old next to you. Or the person yeah. who stands on their head so perfectly. <laughs> right. It's a practice, right? They say you have to keep practicing at it. Right. When you talk about this flow of life, you talk about it in terms of love and letting yourself yeah. be loved. And I think for yeah. a lot of yeah. people that brings out a vulnerability instead right. of making them feel strong. And you're saying, no, that love really can just make you flow into a better place. Well, love to me is the answer. That's the ultimate surrender, and that's what will make you happy. And if you measure your self-worth against your net worth, it's pointless. What you should measure yourself against is your power to love, to give and receive love. That, I guarantee you, as a physician, I'm telling you, that will make you happy. The others won't, unless you're happy inside. You can get enjoyment from externals, but love is the answer. Well, the answer is inside this book. It's really invaluable. You talk about love, you talk about money, you talk about your value and self-worth, physically, intellectually. It's got so many wonderful points in it. So thank you so much for writing it, and thanks so much for being here. The Ecstasy of Surrender is available now. If you'd like more information, you can visit drjudithorloff.com or we can link you there from our webpage, wgntv.com slash midday. Thank you so much. You're welcome.